welcome all the healing energy that is being sent to me right now. Welcome. Clips on here. About to do another tarot reading. First of all, I want to say thank you for watching these videos. Uh, that's great. <laughs> it was kind of an experiment, and as I promised, I will continue to uh, elaborate and uh, get things better underway as I go along and I receive uh, likes and subscribes and you know when people feel like sharing the videos with someone because they think it might help them too that helps um, spread it as well you know to whomever you might feel intuitively might want to hear one of the messages um, regardless of their uh, zodiac sign but regardless I just want to say thank you um, to each each of you so it's June now and I'm starting with you Aries I will do live readings eventually bear with me <clears throat> I welcome the energies from north south east and west Above and below, below and bo above, we find ourselves surrounded in the best, kind of most benevolent love. This reading is for Aries for June. And could be the surrounding weeks and months, depending on you. <laughs> depending on when you hear this. This is for whoever hears it for their well-being, the well-being of all beings, the name of the greater good of all beings. And I made you a sign that's behind me, Aries. It's not very well lit, but it says Aries. This reading is for Aries, June 2019. I feel your reading coming on. Hold on a second. Okay, Aries, can I start? Your goal. It's blocking your view. What's coming from inside of you? How are the externals viewing you? How are the externals influencing you, Aries? Whoa. This, Aries? I am wondering about this. Okay. Aries. Don't be frightened by my expressions. <laughs> it's going to be all right. I'm going to say one thing. There's not a whole lot of ways I can read these cards the way they're laid out. So I'm going to say generally, just to start off the bat so you can know if this resonates with you. And if it doesn't, that's okay. This is about an ending. A definite ending. <laughs> this is about an ending that has been come coming been coming. Been coming. I see fertility. It's 
Could be children involved. Family. The truth coming through. <laughs> yes. For all to hear, Aries. So, this could mean many things. If there is an ending going on within you, we're talking about your soul's journey here. This is a general reading. You're coming to an awakening of a new kind, one that you have felt coming on for a while. Aries, you are being beckoned, called by Archangel Gabriel, called by the cross, not the cross to be sacrificed upon, the cross of strength, medicine, the cross of consciousness, of knowing yourself and knowing that you have a purpose, coming to your purpose, realizing your purpose. Aries, June 2019, overall energy. Okay? Let's find a place where you can see it. Here we go. Judgment. The portal. I'm going to talk about the portal a lot because that's just, you know, a lot about what goes on in the tarot. It's the two pillars once again, Yonkin and Boaz. Walking through, changing once again. Yes, Aries, once again. It's not your first rodeo, but things are happening. And judgment a lot of the time does indicate some type of ending. Ending of a knowing. Knowing of something different. Realization. Awakening. Now, Aries came through very strong, the ram. And he asked me to place these cards as such. <laughs> so, your goal right now, Aries, something to do with work. You don't feel like you're getting it. Now, it could be because you ain't well, just not doing the work. Maybe you haven't been working hard enough. I don't know. That doesn't sound like you. But maybe it's just like you felt like it wasn't worth what it was. You know, something to do with it not paying off. We wanted it to, Aries. But could be that you're being driven by this. I see it in your goal. So I'm like, your goal is to stop working? To drop this thing? Could be. Or is your goal to stop working in vain? I think that makes more sense, Aries. Whatever it is, you could be just like, hey, I'm ready to really leave this. I wouldn't blame you because what's blocking your view is the devil. Don't be scared, Aries. I was thinking about this card this morning. And I was thinking about Sin. Sin, the goddess. Hmm. You thought I was talking about something else? <laughs> well, I'm talking about all of it. But she is one of the guardians of the Garden of Eden, Sin. And she has a sword, and she is the chain. That's how I see her in this card. She's not the devil. She's the gatekeeper. The portal is behind them. The devil is however you want to see the devil. I see the devil sometimes as the undertaker, the one who brings us over the dark river, the one who purifies our soul, the decomposition, the mycelium, Archangel Azrael, Anubis, Capricorn, Pan. Now, blah 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 
just dropping some knowledge on you there. But as a placement here in this reading for you in June, Aries, I'm wondering if maybe, 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 mm, I feel like there's some energy about. I'm going to get general here for a second and talk to your soul. Aries, open your mind. Prime ported star. Where are you standing? Directly in line with what? Do you take from behind your own back? Do you burn your own hand? How short is your footing? I keep seeing this. Holding on. Holding on to something. Whew. Aries. Something to do with your view, though. Okay. I'm not going to get too far into that. I think you know what I'm talking about. It's obstructing your view from what you want. It's holding you back from what you want. The devil loves to do that. And let me tell you something, there's a little, <laughs> okay, mm. I have to be careful what I say, but let me put it this way, not every one or thing or energy or entity wants you to believe in yourself, and I could even dare say there are a few who truly are invested in you doing well for yourself. And the one who should be the most invested in that would be you. Now, you know there are those who may even say nay or no way or they you should pay. Hmm? Are you going to give in to that? Are you going to give in to that? H I T. Because I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so because I have five pentacles reversed, Aries. I don't think you're going to stick with that energy. If you understand what I'm saying and this makes sense to you, I think that you're moving on from it. I don't see you staying in it. I don't see you staying with something that's not going to work for you. I don't see you working on something that's not going to work for you. I don't see you giving your precious, precious energy, Aries, that is so full of life and vigor into something that is, dare I say, draining your energy. <laughs> but, huh. And, I should say, not but. Your reflection. Those that see you, see you coming out of something heavy. So, isn't that a good thing? Yeah. Maybe some realize you've been through some hard times. Torment. Mental torment, mostly. Maybe some people see that you have been a little bit overwhelmed, to say the least. But they see you moving on from this. 
There's a level of strength here. Some would even admire it, but someone knows that you're done with that. I see a lot of doneness, you know? Like that song, that Drake song. Done, 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 done. It's true. And I hate to say it, I'm not making fun of a heavy situation, Aries. I might be, but I'm the devil, so what can I say? I'm not the devil. <laughs> Look, we all are, right? And we're all God. And we're all our own reflection. This doneness is known. And you see an ending to a relationship. It's an ending to a relationship. A bond, a bound bond. A chain is being broken. Sin has come in with her sword of truth. You can't pretend your way in to the kingdom of heaven. Nope. When you lose your foundation, it's gone. Oh, I do apologize. I feel you can handle this the way I'm talking to you, Aries. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I know that you have such a powerful heart. You're a fearless warrior, Aries. You are being called to your destiny. I'm sorry about this. But I see you realizing that, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to live in lack anymore. Tell me what's going on. Yeah. You're letting it go. It's all right. You know what? Aries, I love you. Listen, if it's not for you, it's not for you. That's it. You don't want to live in this idea that you are not enough or it's not enough. You don't want to live in a, in a pattern of lack of judgment or some kind of addiction to not knowing which way this MF is going to go. It's like the Titanic. Sometimes it just gets carried away. You know, it doesn't need to be such, such a hardship every time. I think you know that. I see you ready to go. And I realize that you see, this is how I see it. You know how to release heartbreak. You come to that realization and you say, it's not for me anymore. probably hear my children. That's just the way it is. Okay. You know I love you, Aries. We're just gonna let it slide. Let it slide, Aries. What do I see here? An ending to some kind of bond. Some kind of union, some kind of agreement, some kind of contract, some kind of relationship. Something that took a lot of emotions with it. And you're ready to release it, knowing that you're... Look! You could have lost something. And I talk in the past tense. I don't want to say this is going to happen. In June, 
But you know what, Aries? If this is too much, I want you to take it with a grain of salt because it might not be for you, honey. This is for somebody. And that's okay. You don't have to break up with your lover just because of this reading, no? Doesn't mean they're going to break up with you, babe. But let me tell you something. Something is going to be realized. And it is going to change your relationship. Either within your own male-female aspects, in your soul, or someone in your life. You know it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be telling you this. Come on. Come on. Now, let's see what's going on for you, Aries. Coming up, let's see what spirit got to say about this whole situation, yes? First of all, Spirit says, yeah, you are going to feel like you have to defend yourself, but this is what you need to let go of. Thinking that you are not enough, thinking that you are not strong enough, thinking that you are a coward, thinking that you have lost your vigor, thinking that you are, you've lost your chance to be who you're supposed to become, thinking that you're too old, thinking you're too fat, thinking you're too week thinking other people think you're a b c d f and g stop defending that part of yourself that talks like that aries You have horns like I do, so I feel like you can hear this. I do want to warn you that there is a reason that you feel this way if you do. Something might have happened. Somebody could have been not their best. What can you tell me for Aries? What can you tell me for Aries? Be careful with your energy, Aries. Be careful with your energy, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. This is just crazy. These readings, you know, I think it's just going to be this easy thing. It's not easy for you right now. If you're still with me, I'm talking to you. Look, let go of the heartbreak. Let go of the things that you planted that aren't going to be yours anymore. Someone might have stole them from you. Who knows? Let it go. Know that there's, yes, kind of in a way, something kind of choice was taken from you. You don't get to choose anymore in a way. Now, be careful with your energy. You are very powerful. I know you're over it. Over it. Over it. What are you manifesting now? Careful not to wish anything on anyone. Don't use dark magic. Make sure that other people aren't doing that onto you. Let's say a prayer for that right now. Let us help Aries. Thank you, angels. For anyone who is willing to receive the healing energy being sent to them right now. Blessed be, let only the most benevolent love, kindness, compassionate love be welcome into this force field that we surround ourselves in that is permeable 
to love, compassion, kindness, respect. Now give it up. Right? Now, you don't have to watch it all crumble, but you can avoid the change, my love. It's okay. Sometimes the last, the last bit of it is the most painful. Sometimes, right? But mm, it's better than being stuck in anxiety about it, and it's better than having to fight all the time to defend yourself. Feeling that lack of love, lack of confidence, lack of recognition, feeling like just not your special self. Because you are special. And that's what I see happening. This ending, you watch your energy. You be careful about what you send out. You be careful about what you say to yourself. You let the heartbreak happen. You let go of the things that aren't yours no more. Darling Aries, in June, if this is resonating for you, please, let the ending happen. Let it die. Okay? Let it die. So much of it is the way you perceive it. You no longer have to be fighting. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can come through this. Releasing these old, old energies, holding you back. Why? Because here you are. There you are, Aries. Okay? That's you. The fool. I know you love an adventure. I know it. I know that you love coming into a new awareness, you love new projects, you're going to start something new, you are going to step with your foot out, you are going to find your innocence again, because you always do. You always do, Aries. Brush fire, that's how I feel. Because, baby, baby, I love this. This is great. And this is why the overall energy, remember, the major arcana judgment, Truth is coming through. The blessings will come to you. Aries. Let's see. I want you to see both of these. Sorry. Here we go. Aries. Blessings are coming through. It is true. Let this be what it is. Be careful with your energy. Don't wish anything negative upon anyone. And... Please protect yourself from anyone who is doing as such to you. Also, love yourself through these feelings of pain, remorse, or feeling inadequate. It's alright. Something more is coming to you, and it is a lot more stable, a lot more sturdy, and a lot more real. A lot more long-lasting, and a lot more for you. Really, for you. Keep working, but don't work on the things that you know are not giving you what you need. And I, I know that you got to, like, make ends meet. Do that, please. But find a way to get away from any of this devil energy that is keeping you from gaining the collateral that you need for this change. Because some blessings want to come in. But you got to start making that work for you first. You understand? I hope it makes sense. I know I'm so serious, but you know I'm crazy too. Now I'm going to uh, give you fun little random quotes I wrote down. I'm going to add to these soon. And I will, these ones... I'm sorry, copyright, I don't know where all of them, oh, come from, but they're from just different 
things I've listened to and books and over the years. These are old. I'll make new ones. But, I mean, all of this says. This one flipped. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong, Aries. I get it. I get it. But prove them wrong by being the new you. By starting over. By saying, forget it. Okay? You don't need this. You are beautiful, special, and wonderful on your own. You will get the recognition you deserve sooner than later. Keep moving forward with your peace of mind. Remember what we did. Pray for yourself and for those around you. Okay, Eclipse Dawn signing out. At this point, it was a rather long read. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Leave comments. It, the more you do, the more my word gets out for other people. And that's just awesome. And other than that, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have subscribed, thank you. You are so beautiful to me.